What's up YouTube, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at our community combo video on part 72. Now in these videos, I do get combos from the comments below and I showcase them for you guys. If you guys wanna be part of my next community combo video and win a couple of V-Bucks, let me know in the comments below. So without further ado guys, let's get these combos started. Now for our first community combo video, we do have an entry of a familiar face. Now we're gonna be going with Ethan Martin. He does go with the Rio Grande outfit and then for the backlink, he does go with the boomstick. Now I do like the simple aesthetics and color schemes between both the backlane and outfit. They do match really well and then the theme goes perfectly to them. For the harvesting tool, he does go with the throwback axe. Now the throwback axe was obtainable for free in the item shop and it's just a simplistic harvesting tool that I could actually see Rio Grande using. Then for the control, he does go with the ballistics. Again, the ballistics actually matches really well, especially with the whole western theme that the outfit does bring to the table. Then for the glider, he does go with the crossfire. Now, a lot of people don't know, but the crossfire and the Rio Grande outfit are from the same set, so naturally they're gonna match perfectly together. Then for the wrap, he does go with the rogue archaeology. Now, this wrap is actually very clean. It actually matches really well. It caught me by surprise. I didn't know it would match this good. And overall, it looks amazing. Then for our next combination, we do have the entry from Aura. Now with Aura, they do go with the Omega with a stage 5 with the color scheme being red. Then for the backlink, they do with the Chimera Plasma Pack with the armor being black, the armor a missionary red, and it just matches really well. The futuristic look of both the outfit and backlink combination just matches really well. Now what I really gravitated me towards this combination was the harvesting tool they do use, which is the Critical Blade. And you could get this one right now in the battle pass and it's very futuristic and it looks amazing with Omega. Then keeping the whole futuristic look, they do go with glitch in the system for the control. Now the glitch in the system control looks amazing, it does match really well and overall fits really well with the theme. Then for the glider, they do go with the downshift. Now the downshift does have a color palette that matches perfectly. I would have wished they would have went with something else a little bit more futuristic but it still matches really well when it comes to the aesthetics. Then for the wrap, he does go with the Corrupted. I do like this wrap combined with Omega, especially with the harvesting tool like I mentioned previously, and it just goes really well with the theme itself. Then for our next combination, we're going to be going with the Universe, another familiar face in this channel. They do go with the Ageless with the Champion with the helmet off, and for the backlink of choice, they do go with the Katana with the white color scheme. Now it's a simplistic combo, I do like the whole without the helmet, I do think he looks better but it just everything about this combination goes really well together. Then for the harvesting tool, they do go with the fusion side with the sex and the stout. Now with this harvesting tool, it, it just goes really well together because of the white aesthetics they both share and the gold color scheme. Then for the contra, they do go with the ballistics. Now I'm not pretty sure why they went with the ballistics, I do think to match the gold aesthetics that the glider and skin do share and if they did go with that, it's a perfect contra. Then for the glider, they do go with the Sky Serpents with the Silvery Edestout. Now the Silvery Edestout just makes the glider into an all white and gold, which goes perfectly with this combination. And then for the wrap, I do think that they picked the best wrap with this combo, which was the Divine. The Divine wrap itself is just Divine. It is white and gold, which goes really well with the whole aesthetics. Then for our next combination, we do have Cavalli Karki. Sorry if I did butcher your name. Now they do go with the Vix with the purple edit style. And for the backlink of choice, they go with the Winky Cat. Now the cat itself matches really well, especially with the aesthetics and theme. The color scheme is almost identical and it looks like it's the backlink that belongs to her. Then for the harvesting tool, they go with the hard slash with the dark edit style. Now again, they're using the color scheme to its max potential. The color scheme between this and the skin is just perfect. Then sadly enough, they didn't go with the control. Uh, they could have picked any control. I picked myself the dark feathers just because it does go with the color scheme and she is a cat so they could have ate a bird so it makes sense to have this as a control. Then for the glider they do go with the aerial archer. Now the aerial archer itself just looks amazing and does match again perfectly with the color scheme. Then for the wrap we're gonna be going with the assassin's mark. Now this was an excellent choice again to go perfectly with the color scheme of the skin. The Assassin's Mark also is reactive so each time you do shoot it does get brighter and brighter so it goes really well with Vix. Then for our next combination we're gonna be going with Sunshine. Now with Sunshine they did go with the J Valvin style with the Skeleton Valvin Edestout. Then for the backlink they did go with the Illusion Room. 
Now the energy root just gets like lost in the curse game of the outfit, but it's a perfect match. Then for the harvesting tool, they do go with the Omni Sword and they do go with the top blades being the hyper strike, similar to that of the bottom, the guard being the knuckles, the pickaxe being the dual wield, and then the curse game being ultraviolet. Then for the handle, they do go with the dazzling spirit. Now this color scheme of the harvesting tool, it was just a perfect match with this skin. Then for the contra, they do go with the beat drop. I like the beat drop, especially because it does match really well with the aesthetics of the outfit, and it goes perfectly with J Balvin's theme. For the glider, they do go with the chop dropper, which was an excellent choice. The gold aesthetics with the pink just was a perfect match. Then I don't know about you guys, but everybody's been picking amazing wraps with skins, and this one's no different. They do go with the rainbow fog, which in my opinion is the perfect wrap for this edit style for J Balvin. Then for our last combination, we are going to be going at Twitter to actually get this combination and we're going to be going with the TQ underscore grill and they did go with the outfit Luminos with the back name choice being the Cubit Vortex. Now I'm not going to lie, at first glance I really didn't expect this combination to actually work but when you're in game, the curse kings between the back lane and outfit was just a perfect match. Similar to the harvesting tool, they do go with the moonlit bow blade which they did go with the default letter style and at first glance it just looks like it's a little bit too much but it actually fits perfectly. Then for the Contra, they did go with the Paradive. Now the Paradive, it just was an amazing choice for a control. I normally don't like controls with skins that much, but this one was actually perfect. The color schemes was just excellent and he did an amazing choice combining them together. Then for the Glider, he does go with the Moon Glide. Now the Moon Glide was introduced during this chapter, so having something so fresh in this combination was just a fresh breath of air. Now the color scheme between the Glider and the outfit and even the control was just perfect. And then for the wrap, he did go with the prismatic edge. Now this wrap is just amazing. Again, he did an amazing job combining colors and themes with this combination that it was just breathtaking and it was the perfect wrap to go with the skin. Now for the winner of this week's community combos, it was a close one. I was debating between two people, mainly uh, TQ Grill and Kavalin Karki, but the reason why I'm gonna give it to TJ Grill is cause he did have an amazing choice when it came down to color scheme. Now for the VIX combo he didn't even pick a Contra so that went negative towards him and just the combination that uh, Grill did pick was just amazing. This is his main skin so it was no surprise to he is actually the winner especially cause this whole combo has this very cool presence and the prismatic color schemes that he does have between all his aesthetics was just perfect. So those were my 6 community combo videos I did pick from my comments below. So let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you guys want to be part of my next week's community combo video and get some V-Bucks, just leave your combinations in the comments below. And if you guys have any combo suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And for all my social media in Discord, they'll be in the description. And if you guys want to support the channel, my code is ENIGMAKID, all caps, 2Ds, all together. Each time you guys use my code near the AM shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage of it and I really help this channel grow. And with that being said guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.